This is Draco. And as you can tell, Draco lived quite a while ago, in the 7th century BC. Draco is known as the first democratic legislature, or lawgiver, selected by the citizens of Athens to establish laws. Draco's system of written laws replaced the previous oral tradition. You may not be familiar with Draco, but you may have heard the adjective draconian used to refer to something that was harsh or strict. The draconian constitution was particularly harsh, including the use of capital punishment for relatively minor offenses. Draco shows up in textbooks, of course, but even people who are unfamiliar with him, who may have never heard of him, still reference him from time to time when they use that word draconian to refer to something harsh, as we've been doing in the English language since the 19th century. It is possible, though, that this isn't the most interesting thing about Draco. The story of his death, while clouded in skepticism, is incredibly strange. While Draco was known for his harsh laws, he was still really popular in the city-state of Athens. The story goes that to show their approval for Draco, the citizens of Athens arranged a ceremony for him to be held in a theater on the island of Aegina. Following the custom of the day, the public showed their respect by throwing hats and cloaks down on Draco. Apparently, though, as Draco entered the theater, thousands of people continued to throw hats and cloaks, even as the pile grew higher and higher. So again, unclear if this is true, but according to multiple Greek historians, so many hats and cloaks were thrown down upon him that Draco actually suffocated to death under the pile. Although his influence continued after his death, by the 6th century BC, the majority of Draco's laws have been repealed. So just remember, if you ever hear that word or adjective draconian used, it's all for Draco.